guy's trying. Oh, I can talk to him. Well, good thing me stabbing him did not kill him. Granted, I didn't get much information out of that. Hotel Krat, the greatest luxury you will ever... Okay. It's so quick. The greatest luxury you will ever, ever experience. Treat yourself to an unforgettable day. Yeah, thank you. Like, give me a moment, dude. I should mention. The hotel security excludes puppets like you. So you'll have to lie to get inside. You're a special puppet after all. Okay. You know, lie or die, right? Oh man, it looks like the Tower of Terror. With a cool rail system. Gotta look around before we get in there. Gotta take a gander. In Moonstone. Moonstone was not from this world. Okay, yeah, I probably should have just immediately gone. I'm assuming it's a, like an upgrade weapon material. What is this? Porgen ability activation part. A colorful tiny ergo fragment and activates special abilities when equipped to the Porgen. It was a special kind of ergo with different colors and vibration. The workshop uses this system to bring out puppets different abilities. Weird. Okay. A Moonstone. Upgrade normal weapon blades up to three. Plus three. Rare enchantment material that can be obtained in different parts of Krat. It can upgrade the blades of common weapons. The Moonstone was not from this world. However, it was the most optimal enhancement material. In their urgency, technicians pushed forward with using the Moonstone for weapon upgrades without time to review it any further. That almost sounds like that might be a bad thing. Oh, we also got a boss soul. Ergo obtained from a, the Parade Master. It is packed with immense power. A treasure hunter may want this rare Ergo. That makes it sound like I might get a cool weapon out of these, so not going to use them. Although the entire audience disappeared in the pool of blood, the Parade Master was cheerful. As long as there is a king, the show must go on. Very cool. Alright, good. Great. Fantastic. Let's go check out the other corner. I'm not going into the building yet. You can't make me. You know, I I was gonna say I um wonder if the rain washed the blood off of us, but I guess it's not really blood, it's like oil since we're fighting robot fellas. Is that like a child corpse? That sure is. Well, corpse. Welcome to the sanctuary of the Grand Covenant. Prove your identity. Who are you? Gotta solve this capture real quick. I'm a human. Grand Covenant's fourth floor. A puppet cannot lie. Welcome to Hotel Krat. I don't... Oh, my springs are reacting. Uh... How can I be a robot? I'm such a pretty boy. Look at me. I mean, I, I don't really know. That seems kind of like an ending thing of lie, cheat, steal. I, I don't know. I'm just going to go with whatever choice I feel like. And I feel like if I'm Pinocchio, I'm going to lie my way to the top. Also, okay. So the fact that it's like a robot can't lie... If it wasn't for the fact that I'm shoving parts inside of me, I would absolutely think I was human. Ah, oh, we're here. At the title screen. Beep. Oh, cool credits. Okay, they found the land. They found moonstones, I'm assuming that's what that is. The moonstones from the, the wishing star. 
shoved it into a puppet. They're like, yeah, let's just keep shoving it into puppets. It's going to be great. They prospered. They found it Rapture or Columbia, whichever one you want. And at some point, the robots weren't feeling it. Oh, that was the statue we saw. So that hanging puppet was not part of that statue originally. Okay. I thought it was, like, symbolic. I mean, I'm sure it is, but it wasn't designed to be symbolic. And then it... They got a computer glitch. Well, I feel like we got the gist of it all from this. Things went south. Didn't really get a chance to see. Did Parade Master have bodies in his little cage that he, like, pulled off when he decided to rip his head? I know that guy. I killed him. I was there. Why was I in a train? And why do I look so pretty? Like, actually, if I am a puppet compared to the other ones, am I just a new model? Or is this... Questions for another time? Oh, the blue fairy. Are you made out of moonstones? I'm so happy to see you. I am Sophia. I've been waiting for you. Searched all over the city of Crop to find you. You must have questions. Geppetto will have answers. But we have to find him first. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Krat is dangerous for humans, and that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. I'll explain more once you find him. You can level up to Sophia using the Ergo in your possession. You can increase your stats when you level up. Okay. Not enough Ergo. Let me Gemini. not right now. I think he's in shock. Is he? Gemini is fine. See, Gemini's fine. That's proof you're broken. The real Gemini isn't so calm. What does that mean? I'm no inventor. But perhaps I can fix him. Or perhaps he'll fix himself in time. Wait. Take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. This watch will guide you to a safe place. Be careful, clever one. Let me just look at that, because I'm, I'm not going to be able to read that quick enough. Uh, teleport to hotel uh, or last stargazer used a pocket watch from Sophia. The power inside the watch returns the user to the last stargazer visit it or the hotel's stargazer. Pocket watch imbued with... Is this just an excuse for why I can die and come back. Viewed with mystical power, the power of the watch turns back time to when the boy was in peak condition. I mean, I, the the liar die screen did show a clock, so I, that might be all it is. Oh, it's a usable. I, I guess it is maybe also just a teleport. But why would I use this if I can just do that? Why, why do anything? I'm assuming this was just a, a quick weapon durability. Consumable, does it quickly. Good stuff. Gemini. Gemini. I don't call him Gemini because he spelt weird. I'm sure that's how he's like spelt in the book, though. A small lamp with a cricket guide puppet inside. It illuminates the darkness with a faint light. Do not be afraid. Even if you get lost in the fog, the cricket guides you will be with you. I like actually see him. think so. Maybe if I turn him off? No, he's just a 
light glow. Alright, oh, shop. This is why I didn't want to spend money. Oh, weapon shop, hello. I heard about you from Geppetto, but to see you in person. Wow. You should take this. Geppetto I want that. The saw. I'm sorry, what were you giving me? Oh. A harpoon gun arm. Pretty cool. Legion arm. Legion arm is a special equipment that is equipped on the left arm. Each legion arm has its own combat ability. Legion arms can be modified into all sorts of forms. Modifications can be made using the Veningi craft machine. What's that? I'm not allowed to... Oh yeah, I'm not allowed to like attack in here. I guess that makes sense. <gasps> the sound of it alone. That craftsmanship comes only from the hands of Geppetto. You must be something else. A custom arm from Geppetto himself is quite an accessory. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Eugenie from the Workshop Union. I know my way around weapons of all kinds. I'm sure Master Geppetto would agree. If any of your weapons need work, bring them to me. I like the little woodpecker. I know my way around a weapon. Want me to look at something? Yeah. Look at it. Alter handle. Oh, okay. You can bring Eugenie cranks to alter weapon handles. Each handle's property upgrades based on your character's default abilities. You can change the property and grade one time with the handle alteration. However, you can always reset it with a balanced crank. Okay, so change the uh, scaling of it. Simple enough. Advanced. Pretty good. Get it just technique up to A. It, it seems like there's no downside to upping a uh, handle that's already has a, uh, a set one. So, like, this is kind of a. Yeah, this will, like, lower it down a little bit. But, I mean, I guess there's no real downside to doing anything. Is there. Can you do it with this? Oh, you can. Kind of surprised. I thought maybe because it was a full weapon, it wouldn't have that option. If you have the Moonstone, Eugenie can help you upgrade your weapon's blade. The weapon's attack power will increase when you upgrade the blade. Some blades can only be upgraded with a special Moonstone. I wonder if this is one. Yeah, Dark Moon Moonstone of the Covenant. So, you have whatever these, like, split handle and blade weapons are, like, basic weapons, and then this is, like, a unique one. Makes sense. She doesn't give me the option to... A stargazer is a survival device used by the stalkers. It powers itself by accumulating and absorbing ergo spores in the air. The stalkers installed stargazers all across the city. Once they're recovered, we can put them to use. Okay. If you want to test your skills or try new techniques, head for the garden. The stalkers captured a puppet to use for training. Don't look at me like that. Everyone hates puppets. I know whose side you're on. What, is, what does that mean? A stargazer. Nope, we're done. We're done here. Can I check out over here? Can you give me that saw blade? It looks cool. I love me a good pizza cutter. I organize this place according to the rules, so don't touch anything, Eugenie. A bunch of, like, cats and dogs. Twitch Legion Arm. A uh, Legion Arm that can release a wire. It can be strung around an enemy to drag it towards you or move you towards it. Cool. Press and hold the legion arm button to... I can't read that. I, I'm having trouble. Able to dodge after a hit. So you can, like, upgrade this wildly? 
Left hand parts made of metal is thrown forward strong punches. Left hand parts made with exquisite details. They do not have special powers. Geppetto's name is faintly engraved on them. Tucker's advice is a tool that increases their mobility during combat with puppets. The wire instantly narrows the distance between one and one's enemy, but it cannot guarantee one's safety afterwards. I mean, that seems like a good one. And it scales pretty good with techniques, so that works for me right now. But I can't upgrade this here. This is the craft machine. I think it said that this would be where I would be able to upgrade stuff, but maybe I just don't have the option yet. It's a cool boss. Oh, and this is a training zone. Can I, like... Obviously, I can't drag you. What is the timing on that? That, apparently... Actually, I don't think it was that. I think what I did was accidentally use that, because I didn't press L1 good. If I... Okay, so I don't have to press L1 and triangle at the same time. Also, this does not use... That's good to know. All right. Nailing it. I avoided the attack, but that didn't do much for me. That was it. The timing is weird. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be trying to time. It doesn't help that I'm, like, under where he's attacking. Nailed it. It seems like when the light happens is what I need to time. So I do need to go earlier than I think I need to block. Like, that would have maybe been good. But I was too far away. Or I'm just dumb. Like, the block I can kind of do immediately. But that, I can't. I think I'm too far away to get an actual proper attack off. I think that's what's happening, but I'm not positive. Actually, was there anything else in here? I kind of just saw these guys and assumed. I like that there's just one that doesn't attack. It's nice to have a kind of training room like that, though. Great fortune to all visitors. Rest for all travelers. Blessing to all friends. Cool, cool. Yeah, a training dummy is uh, always welcome. Because I'm, you know, I'm no dummy. I'm a puppet. Go upstairs afterwards. Hey. Welcome to Hotel Crop. I thought puppets weren't allowed. My name is Polandina, butler to Lady Antonia. Please let me know how I may be of service. There's a cat up there. Toto Krat, comfort and calm walk hand in hand. Welcome to Hotel Krat. How may I be of service? Sell me your... Oh, okay. This will probably be a recharge. Can be implanted into a Legion Army to charge Legion rapidly. Polymorph bullets that are used in Legion Arms were developed in collaboration with Venigni Works. These bullets undergo a chemical reaction inside the Legion Arm and turn into different substances like fire, electricity, or acid. And I can buy... Two of these, I think? You have two of these? They seem important. The Grand Covenant is a set of absolute commands imprinted on puppets when they are made. First law. All puppets must obey their creator's commands. Second law. A puppet may not harm humans. Third law. 
A puppet protects and serves humans and the city of Krat. Fourth law, a puppet cannot lie. I've told you about the laws engraved upon every puppet. Do you require anything else? I, I get that it's mainly because it's a Pinocchio bit, but um, it seems like such a weird addendum to the rules of machines. They can't lie. We don't want them lying to us. We definitely got the good ones, uh, you know, don't kill a human and all that. But we really don't want them to lie to us. Can I mess with that cat? I don't think he likes me. Maybe one day I can pet the cat. I haven't actually seen that Twitter page. Did they go away when it turned into X? I, I haven't seen can you pet the dog in like forever. I think they would have said something about a cat. Hey, what up? Unexpected guests are welcome. We don't insist on reservations. I am Antonio, and this is my hotel. Welcome. Oh, I knew from the moment we met the Giorgio Petto's puppet. He did have a few loose screws, but Geppetto's skills are undiminished. It's a shame. He took off for Elysian Boulevard, and he never came back. If he doesn't turn up soon, we'll have to make a new coffin. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I was keeping this for him. It comes with a long story. But I think it's better off with you. Please find that old man. And do take care of yourself out there. Someone's a memory. Oh, show of clothes. Got a new gesture. You got the, uh, got that petrifying? Is that what's going on with you? I don't know if that's like. Yeah, I, I, that, that looks like a. What, what was it called in Game of Thrones? A like dragon scale? Kind of looks like it might be some of that. You, you petrifying? You having some, some problems? I have no idea so many secrets are buried in crowd. Thanks for keeping me company. What are you curious about? What's wrong with your face? About lying. I see you're here. That means you can lie. Your lies are a rare ability. You're able to choose your own path, unbound by anything. People on the outside are still afraid of puppets. Lie to protect yourself and find your path. Will people, um, assume that I'm not a puppet if I lie? Like, I mean, you guys are kind of, like, acting like you know I'm a puppet right now. But, like, you know, can I lie, see, and chill my way into pretending I'm human? I'm an old friend of Geppetto's. His son is like family to me. Make yourself at home. You're always welcome here at the hotel. If you have any questions, ask my butler, Polandina. Also, whatever, um, the puppet frenzy thing clearly didn't affect the butler, so. Don't know how that really works. I got a cool new outfit. Someone's memory. Uniform of a sophisticated and dignified boarding school. These clothes have been worn before. The uniform of a boarding school famous in Krat. The initial M is engraved on the elegant brooch. I'm guessing... So I'm guessing we're, we're still kind of doing that, uh... Made in his son's image. Uh... Lady over there said... That's fancy looking. I like that. Hunting apparel worn by the greatest treasure hunter of Krat. The golden wings attached to those clothes serve as proof of their identity. The hound was the subject of everyone's admiration. So much so that some even aspired to steal his name. I really don't like that. I don't, I, like, I don't really want to wear that. I'm sure it has some important significance. She did say it has a story attached to it. This looks cool, though. I could wear it with a little top hat. 
Look how cool. It's such a large top hat. Hat often worn by alchemists. A necessity if you are a trend-setting celebrity in craft. I'm trend-setting. Lofty humans use dignity and grace to elevate themselves. The elegance does not need a sword to conquer an opponent. Oh, and this is a treasure hunter's mask. Mask worn by the greatest treasure hunter in Krat. This is a mask worn by the Hound in pursuit of secrets and conspiracy. Everyone assumed that the greatest treasure hunter of Krat would be incredibly wealthy. However, there was only one true treasure that he sought to protect. Love. It's wild. I'm going to assume this is actively a character that we will run into. So I don't really want to be him. Great winter hat, though. Bandana of the Honorable. Made of green cloth is a memento of the time that they spent with the sworn brother. I, I shouldn't try skipping the first line. I'm used to doing that in Elden Ring. Not really working out here. The um, bandana once worn by a famed general from an eastern land. Sworn brothers never forgot the oath that started it all. When everything is over, they shall once again stand under the blossoming trees and raise their glasses to brotherhood. Just go without a hat. You can wear glasses. Uh, it is a popular among collectors because of the unique color. Jewel glasses that were... That was among a certain alchemist collection. You may see illusions if you look beyond the emeralds. God, are there illusory walls? I'm not gonna put those on. If there are... Because, like, all of this was, like, bonus, I guess, from a patch or something. I did not get, like, a special edition. So I don't really know entirely where they came from, but... Landmark Guide. Hotel Krat is one of the city's creepiest and most mysterious buildings. According to lore, Hotel Krat is an isolated castle built by an aristocrat devoted to the form of occultists after receiving a revelation from a radiant tree. At one point, it was used as a mental institution, and some patients said they saw hallucinations. However, no records remain as they were all destroyed in a large fire. Above all, being so far underground just compounds the rumors. Excuse me? Is the hotel further underground? Above all, being so far underground just compounds the rumors. Some even said that it is connected to an unknown hell. But now the rumors have served to embellish the charm of Hotel Krat, which has been renovated in the latest style. As the recent rumors of the grand exhibition Ghost Hotel spreads, more customers are actually looking to stay at the hotel. Next is the comments from the hotel owner, Miss Antonia. A ghost hotel? I've heard that more times than I can remember. But fortunately, our hotel guests are brave like lions. It's not a problem at all. Rating 4 out of 5. Creepy and mystical. Best resort in crap. Reporter Medora. This guide was made with the support of a knee company, a friend of the city. Neat. Is that the ghost? I'm assuming that's you. I'm also assuming if I had walked through here from over here, yeah, that, that would have been a little bit more striking to, like, get up to this character. Can I play the piano? I can investigate. I can start performing. I didn't do such a great job. Try again. Skip it. Part of me was kind of hoping that maybe I would get, like, better. Maybe if I keep playing it, I, I could get better. Who knows? Is this anything? I have nothing? That's neat. Alright, well, let's, um... I guess we should go upstairs, actually. I don't know if there would be, like, a shop upstairs. That just looks like leaving. So if this has an underground and used to be an asylum, I feel like we might end up going there. The babies. You need Rosa Isabel Street uh, key access, whatever. Something like that. I don't have my weapon out, so I can't. Am 
that's suspiciously gold and fish-like in appearance. The fish is what makes it suspicious. It's locked tight. Can't knock on the door. It's a giant light in the center. I mean, obviously, this is our hub zone. And that's not a real door because it's blocked. But that is awfully suspicious. Like, clearly, clearly, that's a secret door. Can I break it open? If anything, that's going to go to the asylum. We might also not actually do anything like that. Well, it seems like all we can do is leave. I'll use my power to help you. What is your power? It looks like it's straight up magic. Also, I can talk to you more. One more vitality. And capacity. Let's do that. Ergo is the miracle that made Krat prosper. Without Ergo, there would be no automated puppets to make Krat wealthy. Doesn't seem too wealthy you outside. Know, you tap into the power of Ergo within you. Gather more Ergo. It will make you stronger. In the folklore of Krat, a cricket often acts as a guide. That is why these automated models became popular. So Gemini is just a trinket? Gemini is oh, unique. never mind. Gemini also. He's more than just a guide. As you get more familiar with Gemini, you'll see what I mean. You could just tell me now. If he doesn't take like a bullet from me by the end of the game, then he's not worth my time. Okay, we can just teleport and switch Legion's arm from here. What's the point of the workstation? Well, I guess maybe you can only upgrade at the workstation. Alright. Get out of here. I could try upgrading my weapon, but like I said, I don't really like pokey weapons. I, I looked at him. He doesn't like have anything new, does he? So that one door that was locked, I would assume, probably leads up to the tram. Oh, I didn't want to punch that door open. The guard succeeds right before being hit. It triggers a perfect guard. I don't want to try. I like that the loading screen says now lying and it's the nose. 100% lying. I did not notice that before. That's funny. 